Hi, welcome again to 5 Minute Revit. Today, tips and tricks is about uh, a little uh, callout and how to create, a, um, to add the little component uh, to the callout. Let's see how it's work. I have in here uh, this uh, uh, section and I will uh, create a little callout in this area. I start by going to uh, here in a ribbon, going to view and selecting this uh, callout. And I will create a callout like that. Draw this rectangle in this area. Just adjust my callout. And when I double click, you see that I have in here this uh, this uh, uh, view uh, in bold. That means that I am in uh, this uh, uh, section callout. Now I can adjust uh, here my uh, uh, my scale or I can keep it uh, 125 and I will just adjust here the boundary and I will also select this uh, level and hide category I want I don't want to show a level and just adjust this little bit and adjust here the height now I can uh, start by uh, by adding uh, some uh, field region in this area. Before that, I go to Vivi and I go to Topo and uh, Topography and I go in here and clean this uh, gray or this uh, gray, clean override because it was override. And then I go in Annotate in here and in Annotate I go in region here field region and I, I go edit and now I have this I just make sure I have the the hatch I want if not I duplicate that one and upload the new one and just uh, to make that gray like that then I go in here and choose wide and choose line in here and starting by this area in here. Now I finish and I have in here the earth like that. Now I add the uh, lumber in here. I go to component and I go to uh, my uh, uh, browser in here and I choose this three by eight lumber section and I click on spacebar, place it in this area, escape a couple of time. Then I can go to align tool, modify, align, then I'll align this one with this one and I align this wall, foundation wall with this lumber and Escape a couple of times, select that, create similar, and I add the other one in here. And now maybe I can just adjust the scale to, to see that more clear. Now it's better. And I align it like that. Align it. And then I add the plywood here in this area of the floor. I go to annotate and then I go to component. Then I go here in the browser, choose plywood and place it like that. Then I will adjust it and in a specific details, you enter the amount of plywood or uh, and then in this uh, exercise, which makes sense now. And then I go to create similar and spacebar. I place it here for this wall. Then I come like that and just make it in here. Let adjust the crop here and now I will add in here the insulation 
I go to annotate and I go to insulation and sorry before I will add the lumber in here just uh, forget that just add 2 by 4 in here go to align align that one line that one and now add my insulation go to view sorry go to annotate and then insulation and go to in here nice and clean now I just my crop like that crop region now I just in here make it hide it and then I go to component, then I go for adding lamp side in here. And then I copy it a couple of times. Copy, make it multiple here, in, and then copy it alongside here. Awesome. This one move it. You get the idea. Now I go to component like that and then break line. Add the break line in here. Space bar and add it in here. And don't worry about that, we adjust that space bar in here. And now I check this one, space bar, space bar. Now it's okay. This one in here. And make that like that. Adjust it. And now I have my little or my section call out the details. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest uh, tips and tricks for Revit. Thank you and have a good day.